So someone left a comment on one of my last videos and they were asking, I just found your website because I was looking at running a Proxmox OpenBSD machine. Do you have a video for how you've configured your setup? And I was about to point them to an essay on my website here, OpenBSD Proxmox, where I did just that. And then I thought, you know, you know, I might as well make this a video as well, because while this essay is still pretty good, it's, it's been written over a year ago, and there are some things that I change in how I go about doing this. But the main problem, I think, stems from this part here. Uh, if you read this section here, it's that I want to have a way to pass through my peripherals like my keyboard, my mouse, uh, my monitor to the virtual machine. But the way to install the OpenBSD image onto the virtual machine is a little bit, shall we say, uh, less than straightforward. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you wanna make sure that you have the install, whatever the version number is, .image file. And that's because the ISO file doesn't contain any partition table, so you can't boot from it. Uh, the ISO file is mostly used to create CD, DVD images, and that sort of thing. So you grab the .img image, and then you create a boot media from it, usually a USB flash drive. And the openbsd.org website has a wonderful FAQ that you can read from and learn how to do this. So I'm not gonna go into that here. This is just about going over how to install OpenBSD on a Proxmox VM. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we're here, we can take a little tour of my Proxmox environment. You can see I have quite a few uh, virtual machines here. Most of them are OpenBSD, but you know there are a couple of Gen2 and Ubuntu ones. And there's even some uh, Windows machines that I have here. Yeah, so this is the machine that I'm running right now. This is what you see me in right now. And then I have a, an NTP server, a mail server, a web server, a Git server, and various other services. And then a couple of other operating systems that I play around with, like Gentoo, Ubuntu, and others. And then I've got my local storage and some network attached storage as well. So let's create a new VM. Let's call it DevBox OBSD Proxmox Tutorial. And then we're not going to use any image, like I said before. We're so we're just let's, go, let's just select this. Do not use any media. And then click next. Oh wait, actually, before we do that. We want to make sure it doesn't really matter, but I usually click other because OpenBSD is in Linux or any of these other kernels. And then uh, we want to make sure that we use the vert IO GPU and we use the Q35 machine. And then we use the OVMF or UEFI uh, BIOS. And this is because we want specifically to have a PCIe pass-through so we can use our peripherals on this virtual machine. And then of course we have to set an EFI storage and we do not want to pre-enroll our keys because we're not using Microsoft Secure Boot. And then here we want to set this to SCSI. 32 gigs is probably fine. So we click next and we want one CPU socket to start and one core. And then I usually like to do around four gigs of memory. And then let's set our VLAN. And I want a vert IO pair virtualized model. And this is fine. And then everything here looks good. And we can click finish. Let's wait for that to spin up. And then before we start this virtual machine, let's look at the hardware. Since we don't have an installation media, 
you need to add one. And when you create your USB flash drive of the OpenBSD image, you what you need to do is you plug that into the actual machine that your Proxmox environment is installed on. And so what we can do then is we pass the USB device through to the virtual machine. And then we can pass, see, as you can see here, I've got a Samsung flash drive here. Make sure USB 3 is selected and we click add. And then before we start again, let's set our boot order. We don't really want CD ROM here, so let's just take that out. And we want to set SCSI zero first, and then net, uh, we don't want the net zero here. We want the USB zero second. And then I believe we should be good to go to start. So let's go to the console and click start. And so here we are. And the OpenBSD uh, FAQ is pretty good about telling you how to install this. So I'm just going to go over this very quickly. Uh, default hostname. OBSD, Foxbox, Oreo. We want to set our uh, network interface. And we want to do autoconf. And then we'll just do a short password. And I don't want to start SSHD. And I don't want to start the X window system. And I don't want to set up a user. Time zone is fine, and this is the correct disk. And I want to set it to GPT, which is the default. And then this layout looks fine to me. And then disk is initialized. And we want to continue without verification. And we click done. And then we wait while it creates a unique kernel. And then when we hit enter to reboot, because we set our op boot options for the a hard drive to come first in the boot order, we should just boot directly into our OS. So let's just do that. And so far, everything looks good. Now we can log into our root account. And there we go. So as you can see, installing OpenBSD onto a Proxmox VM is relatively straightforward. And the settings are a little tricky, especially if you were trying to pass through your monitor, or your graphics card, your GPU, whatever, and your peripherals. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can also... If you want, if you don't really want to pass through your peripherals, you can just set this to CBIOS and then use, use the ISO image um, and set that here, you know. But I mean, I have some specific requirements. If you have any questions for me, be sure to check out my website, josephcho.com. I've got a Twitter, a GitHub, a Reddit. So many other things. Honestly, I've got too many of these things. It's probably gotten a little out of hand, if I'm being honest. Anywho, bye now.